What about housing? Uh, I read in the guidelines that uh, one of the goals is to, quote, eliminate effects of past discrimination in housing based on race, color, religion, or national origin and provide safeguards for the future. Is this goal difficult to obtain? Yes, and we're really not in full implementation of that. That's a brand new, uh, the civil rights uh, phase of our review. We do review housing now. But again, strictly from the orderly development standpoint, we haven't really implemented the civil rights portion of the review. By orderly development, you mean if there's adequate water and sewer right. facilities? Right. Yes. All right. Let's suppose there was a proposed housing development that would either be uh, insured or involved with a federal uh, support, mm -hmm. uh, and it has to be 50 units or more before we review it. And it's in a small town that doesn't have an adequate sewage disposal plant or the school system nearby won't support it, then we comment appropriately in saying that we think this uh, proposed housing is not uh, mm -hmm. proper because the sewage plant won't support it or because the school won't house the students that will come from this housing area. And we're handling almost one a day housing applications mm -hmm. of this type. So our process. Uh, up to this point, if, if a housing project uh, application that was federally supported were uh, came through your office for review and, and it would or would not perpetuate segregation or, uh, or one race neighborhoods, uh, you would not at this point approach that question? No, we have not yet done that. We haven't geared up our, uh, uh, our operation or processes or procedures to speak to that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a brand new guideline just in the last couple of months and we're trying to set our machinery in motion yes. so we can respond to that responsibility. Are there any blacks on uh, the executive committee or any of the other uh, committees of COG? We have many blacks on our operational committees, on policy development committees, technical advisory committees, and study committees. I don't know how many because mm -hmm. we select them at random as we need uh, people to participate in the process. There are none on the executive board because as I advised you earlier, the process for selection of the executive board, each local government selects their voting representatives, and from the voting representatives, uh, the General Assembly elects our executive committee, mm -hmm. our executive board. In other words, to my knowledge, there are no blacks even in the voting representatives at this time. There could be if a particular council, which has a black councilman or a black mayor, decided to select him as a voting representative. So it's possible, but it's not our decision. Yeah. How do you feel about the uh, proposal for direct election of the Executive Committee of COG? Well, uh, that's an issue that's uh, been discussed nationally as an effort to uh, make uh, COGS more responsive to the needs of the people. It gets back into the issue of whether you are serving uh, the local governments or whether you're serving the people directly. And, mm -hmm. uh, it also that's the dilemma of the whole right. 